Hello guys, welcome to GIS Media TV. If you're watching this channel for the first time, kindly click the subscribe button to subscribe and also click the notification bell to get notified anytime we drop a new video. The Miyati Allah Association has said that the order of President Mohammed Bravi to security agencies to shoot anyone seen with AK-47 rifles also affects Amoteku and other ethnic militias. The association added that it does not have any problem with the order because its headers do not carry AK-47 rifles. The Mieti Allah National Secretary Salah al Hazan stated this during an interview with Leadership for Youth, noting that every non-state actor carrying rifles was banned by the presidential order. al Hazan said, first and foremost, our members don't carry AK-47 rifles. But if you have criminals that carry weapons, they are not state actors. So if the president, who is the commander-in-chief and whose responsibility it is to ensure law and order in the country, has given a directive, we should comply. Everyone, including vigilantes and amotekun, I don't think any law permits any non-state actor to carry AK-47 rifles since they started going after ex-men in Southwest. Have they arrested anybody or have they killed anybody in the forest? At least we should see their corpse. They are just displaying innocent headers. Amoteku officials should, by this order, stop carrying AK-47 rifles. It is implied all these ethnic militias. When they say people are carrying AK-47 rifles, they are non-state actors and the government has waited for so long. Even those who got license did they get license for AK-47 rifles or just for pump action and then guns? The presidential spokesperson, Galba Show, disclosed in an interview with BBC on Wednesday that Bwari had ordered that anyone seen with AK-47 should be shot. He added that the president had directed a clampdown on bandits who had refused to surrender. On the efforts being made to rid Sanfara and other northern states of bandits, Shell said the government was resorting to leather force. The president has ordered security forces to go into the bushes and shoot whoever they see with sophisticated weapons like AK-47, he said. He ordered that whoever is seen with terrible weapons at all should be shot immediately. Shell had also said the Nigerian government declared Sanfara a no-fly zone following intelligence that arms were being transported to the bandits with private jets. These jets are being used to pick up gold that is being mined in some parts of Sanfara and exported. This is strong because at the moment there is a Nigerian gold market in Dubai. The government is losing. The people of this country are losing. That's why it is said that gold mining is banned for those who are not made by the government, he said. I just don't get it. Who is in control of the country? Muhammad Buhavi or Mieti Allah? There is a presidential order to shoot anyone from with AK-47 in the, the forest and not Amoteku. Amoteku is a security corps meant to protect people in the southwest, mostly against killer headsmen, and they have been doing wonderfully well. So why does Mieti Allah Association want them shot? They are not criminals. The presidential order is for bandits and Boko Haram. Recently, Fulani headsmen has been a major problem in the southwest. They have been seen with sophisticated weapons and involved in kidnapping, raping, and so on. This is the first presidential order against their actions. And rather than changing their ways, they turn the table around. I pray the government find lasting solutions to the menace caused by killer headsmen, bandits, and Boko Haram in the country. During our four-hour security meeting, I have taken the responsibility as Commander-in-Chief for you to go out into the field and secure the country. I have accepted responsibility for your actions in the field. It's up to you to identify your competent officers 
irrespective of seniority and FIFA qualification and deploy them to make sure that we secure this country. We have got a few weeks to do that because by the rainy season we expect people to develop confidence and go back to the land so that we don't get in trouble by being away from the field and therefore unable to produce enough food for the nation. We all look forward to you to perform and I as a CNC I'm backing you a hundred percent and I expect you to effectively deploy your officers and men to secure the country. I thank you very much and I wish all of us the best of luck. Thank you very much.